behalf of Representative Tara Tuhill. Uh, it's been an emotional morning. Uh, Representative Tuhill uh, has asked uh, that uh, she's going to release a statement later, uh, perhaps today or tomorrow, uh, addressing some of the things that, are, that have been going on. Um, but I'll be speaking uh, uh, this afternoon. Um, I am pleased today to say that we got every single thing we wanted today. Uh, there is a protection from abuse order in place that Nick Micarelli cannot have contact with Representative Tuco. He is not allowed to possess firearms unless it is in connection with his service with the National Guard. We got 100% what we wanted, uh, and that is what Tara requested. She has found her voice and achieved what we set out to do today. Is the representative pleased that he's going to be back at the Capitol, not very far from her on the floor? I can't speak for Representative Micarelli. No, 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 you're, you're rep pleased. I'm sorry, the representative, Ms. Tuhill. Is she pleased that he can still be on the floor of the House? She, had, she uh, has been working with members at the Capitol to assure additional security measures for her at that time. And that's something they're probably best equipped to address. Um, but this order, coupled with some measures that are being taken in Harrisburg, have provided her with a sense of uh, a greater sense of safety and some calm. Is she still fearful of him? Are you still fearful of him? She's absolutely still fearful of him. That he could hurt her? She's absolutely still fearful of him. Representative Jared, Nicarelli he denied, said Mr. that Nicarelli he... Nicarelli just went on camera and denied threatening Ms. Tuhill, Ms. Tuhill, uh, denied the allegations and said he just, he just denied everything. Well, I would expect no less than a denial. Uh, but I can tell you, uh, Representative Tuhill stands by every single statement she's made um, here at the courthouse and wherever this leads. Does the representative believe that he should be arrested and charged, criminally charged, for his behavior with her? Again, there's been public reports that there is an ongoing criminal investigation, uh, so I wouldn't want to comment beyond that. Representative Micarelli said it's been years and years and years since he's had any contact with Representative Tuhill. Can you comment on that? Uh, there's no expiration date on fear, number one, and there has been uh, incidents that justified our coming here and asking for the PFA. Representative Micarelli said that he felt vindicated by this decision. Should he? Representative Micarelli agreed to a protection from abuse order today after being accused of very, very serious abuse allegations. I don't know on what planet that would seem to be vindication. Here's, here's how this works. No one's above the law not even the men and women that make the law. Right now, there is an order in place that he's to have no contact with Ms. Tuhill. And that is exactly what we wanted, and that's what we achieved. Jared, why does several year delay from the time of the allegations to the day of the I, I can tell you, as the, uh, as the uh, filing indicates, uh, Ms. Tuhill uh, came forward after other women came forward. Uh, to ask that question, uh, I know that that's a question that's often asked. I've seen it asked in the, in the uh, many cases, cases involving the church, cases involving William Cosby. Um, it's a common occurrence, and uh, individuals that are victims of abuse find their voice uh, with others and have some solidarity, and that's what happened here. Tara, do you want to say anything? Can you speak just for a minute anything? to us, Representative? I'm just going to speak later and release a statement later, but we are very pleased with the outcome and got everything that we were coming here to do. And we are safer today. And that's what we were trying to do was secure our safety, my safety. What were your thoughts about seeing him today in court, Representative? Again, again Representative Tool is going to 